hope my screen is visible yes sir okay so as you request uh, we have just like uh, take the look how uh, we can write the code for recursive as i explain you what do you mean by recursive recursive is the one the way of writing code where they allow you can reuse method many let's you have defined m1 method okay m1 method and you in this method you have written some set of line of code okay uh, you want the same set of line of code execute again and again so might be case you can invoke this method many times method one time method two time method three times from outside An alternative way instead of someone invoking your method many times m11 m12 m13 why not this code why not this code itself invoke many times as needed so recursion say ki this method when call from inside body itself here itself you invoke the m, m method right so whenever set up line execute now m1 call again go to invoke the same method same set up line execute again m1 invoke so like a loop this set of code line of code is executed many times because you are invoking same method one time two time three time four time so recursion is the one way where you want same set of line execute multiple times the generally the same we are doing using the for loop but there is one new concept you can do recursion yes you can do recursion recursion is also a way when you want same set of line executed multiple times then you can write invoking same method inside the same body itself so this method known as recursion call yeah recursive call the recursive call have only one problem whenever you are writing manual for loop you are no i am going to writing for loop for two times yeah three times yeah four times you are writing less than condition i less than five that means your code should be executed five times but here there is not no any kind of condition ki when your m invocation will break right are you getting my point yes sir so in this recursion only one point you have to always consider whenever you write in recursive call you have to line write such line of code from where our recursive code will break else your recursive code can go to the infinite loop and you will get exception like out of stack overflow out of stack overflow so this exception whenever you receive that means ki your recursive call is not breaking you know ki whenever any method invoke whenever one method invoke one is method stack frame are uh, executed right and whenever you call same method again the same new stack frame are executed created for stack memory right stack frame memory again you invoke same method again new stack frame is invoked so as many number of times you invoke method one stack frame in the memory will created so this is the drawback of recursive call ki as many number of times your method call itself new stack frame will create it new stack frame will create it and due to that somewhere you have a limited memory right and you if your call is recursive then means you are getting out of stack overflow exception because your stack is full somehow we have a limited ram available so this is but those scenario in the case of for loop for loop you are not 
invoking any method. You are just executing set of instruction multiple times. Okay. As you mention the condition. But here, whenever one method invoke itself, new stack frame invoke, new stack frame, new stack frame, new stack frame. So recursive call is very, you can say expensive, we are memory exhaustive. They are consuming your lots of memory. So please be note, whenever you are going to write any recursive call, first you have to think your recursive call, recursive call cannot become infinite. Else you will throw out of bound exception. So let us look. If write uh, simple, let's write uh, uh, simple. Let's uh, write one method uh, like uh, let's uh, write one class. Okay. Inside you written a method like uh, let's write an integer method one. Method one, and here you write something like a uh, out. Let's uh, mm, just uh, create one counter variable like uh, equal to zero, okay, and just print uh, c equal to c plus c plus plus, okay, and return. C. Let's you return this method. So till now there is a no any kind of problem. Okay, test you created a test object. Object and invoke the test method. Okay, it's out. Main method done. So in this case, till now there is a no any problem. Whenever you say I want to use a recursive call, I want to this set of code execute the multiple times. Okay, there is no problem. So if you write code like <coughs> here, invoke your method M1 itself. So this is a recursive call. This is the symbol also known as a, this is the recursive call. The editor identify key from this line you invoke method same again. But this method have a again same problem. Whenever what happened? Whenever this method invoke, they print zero. Then you invoke again this method, again print zero, again print QC is that zero, again print a zero. Okay, so again C0000 zero, 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 uh, until your stack overflow. Your JVM is crashed because here we have not tell compiler when this method call will stop. So recursive call, now this is the recursive call, means if inside a method you can invoke the same method. This is a simple definition of recursive call. A recursive function. One function invoke inside itself. If you run, you will get a blah. After some time, you will get a exception, right? Your JV. Sometime you are still printing some value, and after some time you will throw exception, right? Your stack overflow. So, so how to hold? We have to write some condition here that your code should not go infinite. So, what do you think? How can we can control this code? So, here is the method: stack overflow error. Right? You are getting why stack overflow? Whenever this method run. For whenever main method invoke the method one, one stack frame created, 
where local variable system created whenever you invoke another times another new stack created another times another new stack created and after some time it will go down so you have always think when you can return maybe you can think something let's here uh, write something maybe counter maybe let's see here i write some variable like uh, a c variable and here you can say whatever the c going plus plus and just pass c uh, here and if let's check if check uh, c let's i want to 10 times if c double equal to 10 okay. 10 times that's i want if check if if tens, then what you can say? You can just return from here, return the C value, and else, else invoke this method. Right? In this way, what happened? You are controlling when C become instead of c here you can use this r variable itself or you can say yes here you can uh, r variable. Let's take a r okay. okay whatever the input someone pass just print and take your input become a kind of a 10 and just return those value as always you know this method and now let's here pass like a zero so this is the way you can somehow put the logic so now your recursive call but the conditional when particular condition is not true until you are invoking else condition true you are doing not invoking right So you notice this code never execute. R you can return from here, or you can invoke this method. So compiler identify ki this line, this line of code, return value is never executed. So what you can do? So instead of writing this here, you say this return whatever this method return so you can write code this way so multiple way you can write the short logic is that you have to ensure that your code will break after some time what is the some time this condition you will decide when you run this code, it will break after 10 times. Right? Now your method will break. So you know what is the recursive call? Recursive call, a yeah, recursive is the one way to writing code where this set of line code I want to execute multiple times. So instead of writing a for loop, you can invoke this method itself but whenever you call itself method it will become infinite loop so how to break your infinite loop you have to write some logics where you can just control the number of recursive call is there any doubt with this till now what is a recursive no. call? No, sir. So, whenever you think which code you can write using recursive, which can all the codes might be cannot need a recursive. Recursive is used in very selective places because 
recursive has some disadvantage some drawback first they are consuming your lots of memory this is the major drawback but you <coughs> excuse me if same thing you can do is for loop preferable way you can use for loop until someone forcefully say you know you write this code in the, in the recursive way you can write but this is the drawback of recursive call so generally prefer way you can avoid recursive call okay let us write one example like you know the how to calculate factorial i want to calculate the factorial of 5 so how to calculate generally 5 multiply by 4 multiply by 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 this is the factorial is it okay yes sir. yes so sometimes here you are calculating two number again down again down again down so this code you can return using the for loop or you can also return using the recursive call because here multiplication you want only four times uh, whenever this value become one you know ki i can loop out recursive call can be dropped so let's write here you say i want to factorial okay factorial let's whatever the number here given i want to calculate factorial so here first you write condition if your number become one then return the same thing okay then return the your whatever the number you have else 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 what you can do whatever the number you have whatever the number you have just and number multiply by number multiply by number minus one the so number minus one is just invoke this factorial and they return the number minus one your output and just return it so what do you think this is your recursive code for your factorial let's test it what we have data here if let someone pass 5 you will say 5 multiply by invoke factorial n minus 1 means again one method invoke again minus 3 invoke. here you can pass what is this time pass this time n minus 1 n is the 5 then you are passing the 4 okay so you receive the 4 input so here 4 4 not equal to 1 no go to the here here say again 4 4 multiply by again invoke recursive call so okay again invoke again new stack frame invoke this will receive here 4 minus 1 3 here this will receive 3 okay come 3 not equal to 1 no just go here 3 multiply by 3 multiply by invoke again recursive function okay let's invoke again recursive function go here and here this time you can pass n minus 3 minus 2 2 pass here here 2 2 not equal to 1 no just go to the here say 2 multiply by 2 multiply by what minus 1 the 2 minus 1 at this time invoke a recursive call at that time you pass 1 yes this is the one equal to true they return what return 1 so the here what happened here come 1 right and after this calculation, 2 multiply by 1, return here. 2 multiply by 1, return here. And then this return, again here. 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1, whatever the result, right? And this return here. And finally, this return your main method. Something understand how recursive work? it should not return one whenever it should, whenever it should return one but 
who call him who call him this for one input this method invoke two right yes sir. this one invoke na for one a uh, for two this one invoke you know ki any method invoke who invoke return the same places right so if you are invoke method from here return come its place only right like when n is 2 we write uh, 2 into factorial of 1 uh, yes. let's uh, test this uh, here so it's just comment out that not it is and just say test dot let's you want to factorial f2 right and run it for timing this code just write this is the first this is a test method just yes. and run so what the output you will get let's you pass n equal to 2 okay i'm not printing anything okay just call and write We are saying this this method returns some output, right? So this will reach integer. Fact. So what is the factorial plus? Okay. Factorial of. Let's here take one number. Input uh, n equal to let's two. Okay. And fact factorial of n equal to double quote plus here we pass n equal to 2 let's what return the factorial and factor let's give the factorial variable let's say okay So let's run and then check output. What happened? Not running? Oh, something running. So you are getting factorial 2 of 2. So let's look how 2 of 2 happen. Here you pass the 2, right? 2 is not equal to 1? No. So what happened? They are going here. Here say 2 to multiply by invoke factorial function. So for factorial function, another stack frame was invoke. And what do you call here? n minus 1. You call n minus 1 like here, it pass 1. Right? 2 minus 1 here, pass here 2 minus 1. So what? Here you can say n equal to return 1. Whatever the value n, whatever the value. Here pass 1, here pass 1. They return 1. So where 1 returns, 1 return go this, this place. And now 2 multiplies, what return this? 1. The 2 multiply by 1. And finally you return to the main method. Let's just write type a 3. And then test it. Okay. So let's how it works. Whenever your main program run, your your main program stack start for main method. This is the n three variable n three variable. Then invoke you test dot factorial. So from here, from here one method invoke test dot factorial so one new stack frame invoke what the input pass here okay so here you pass like a your n right right six so here you main method start okay main method start they invoke here from line number factor what factorial value they are waiting what this method return right 
तो दे आर फैक्टोरियल वेरिएबल आर वेटिंग वाट मैथड रिटर्न तो इन वोक दस वन न्यू मैथड ओके सो वट हियर यू पास हियर यू पास लाइक एन एन वट इज द थ्री यू पास द थ्री ओके सो हियर कम एन इक्वल टू वन नो एन इक्वल टू थ्री गो टू द एल्स पार्ट एल्स पार्ट यू कैन से ओके जस्ट राइट वट एवर एन थ्री थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई इन वोक अगेन एन अदर फंक्शन ओके सो आई कॉन अगेन एन अदर फंक्शन ओके तो वट दिस फंक्शन टेक इनपुट यू आर पासिंग एन माइनस वन एन वट थ्री थ्री माइनस वन टू हियर यू पास एज ए टू राइट सो नाउ यू रिसीव टू हियर एन नॉट इक्वल टू टू दैन अगेन रिटर्न टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई फैक्टोरियल सो अगेन यू रिटर्न टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई अगेन इन वोक एन अदर फंक्शन फैक्टोरियल ओके अगेन इन वोक फैक्टोरियल वट दिस मैथड इनपुट विल टेक एन माइनस वन टू टू माइनस वन वन यू पास हियर अगेन दिस कम कोड हियर यू से यस एन इक्वल टू वन दैन जस्ट रिटर्न द सेम वैल्यू तो वट इज द एन वैल्यू हियर एन वैल्यू इज द वन तो वेयर दिस रिटर्न हु कॉल दिस मैथड दिस कॉल मैथड एट दिस प्लेस राइट तो दे रिटर्न टू दियर वट रिटर्न वन हियर रिटर्न वन अब फाइनली दिस फ्रॉम हेयर इन वोक दे इन वोक फ्रॉम हियर राइट तो टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन टू Here return two. The three multiply by two. Where returns from your call? They call from main method, so they go to main method here, and then assign to the factorial. Three multiply by two to six. Here assign six, and you are printing six. Any doubt? No sir, no. So please be note that here. Method return those place from here call. If return call from here, here control come. If call from here, so always control return here. So in this way, you can write. Uh, let's say pass here as a four. Okay. Similar happen whenever you four four. So this function invoke your multiple times. Similarly, here you pass n four, okay, four. So this will invoke for four, okay. This will four, okay. But four is equal to not equal to one. No, so go else part. Here say four multiply by what? Again invoke new function. So again new function invoke. New function invoke what for? Four minus one three. So for three, again not equal to one. No, again invoke else part. Three multiply by invoke another function. This another function for. Three minus one for two, for two. Here again, not equal to one. No, go to the else two. Multiply by invoke another function for which one input. Now we are receiving one. Yes, we receive one. What return? Whatever the value you receive, what receive one? Just return here one. They return two. Multiply by one. From where this call? This call going to return here. Here return two. From where this method call? Three multiply by two six. Six return here, six. Where from this call? Six multiply by twenty-four return to the factorial, and now you are getting the factorial twenty-four. So this is the way your factorial works. This is the just one concept where one method invoke itself. This is the recursive call. Please be do note this method return last one return where not return here from where call no they return from where this is call from this is call this is call this is no this is when you know, this is the recursive call first you are going to the down 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 again recursive back 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 and back. so hope okay, it sir. will clear about the recursive this is the only recursive thing nothing else any kind of program you can think fit in this situation you can write yes share your any doubts thoughts question 
हाउ रिकर्सिव फंक्शन वर्क रिकर्सिव कॉल इज अ सिंपल कॉल वन मैथड इन वोकेट सेल्फ दिस इज रिकर्सिव कॉल हाउ इट्स वर्क इन दिस वे ईच मैथड कॉल न्यू स्टेक फ्रेम विल बी इन वोक एंड वेन लास्ट स्टेक इज इन वोक फ्रॉम वेयर दिस इज अ कॉल गेन गो बैक go back go back go back go back and finally you are reach the output from where they called it is okay about the recursive yes sir now just need you practice how much number of code you write for recursive you can get a maturity but writing the recursive code please be note that somehow in your code must return from recursive call this is the precondition this is the thing you have to learn how we can break the infinite loop because this is the infinite loop you are a main math factorial method invoking factorial again invoking factorial again invoking factorial you have write some condition from where this will go out please keep in the mind and always think is for each method in vocation new stack frame will be created that will take memory the recursive call is a very costly call until someone not say yes you write code for recursive then you write else just ignore it this is the general principle look like the same code you can write in using for loop yes or not right you can write the same code factorial using for loop let's say using for loop okay so how to do for loop simple loop you know you run a loop uh, to 5 from 5 you run loop from 5 to 5 uh, Greater than equal to one, and just minus minus. As you and here you can say just uh, kind of uh, take one variables fact integer fact initially assign one, and here you can write like a factorial. Oh sorry, factorial equal to whatever the factorial. multiply by your okay so here you can i is equal to 5 in slice with n not a 5 this is the slice with the n right n so here n slice with the n you so n greater than 1 yes then multiply by 1 multiply by 5 then n minus minus again multiply by again multiply by and finally we return Your factorial. So what is the same factorial? Just you are getting the n is starting from n. Just minusing one, minusing one, and multiply and multiply, multiply. And you can use the same. Let's pass in. you are receiving the same output right or you can do this way or you can this way but this is the different way writing a code this is the different way writing a code what the same thing we are doing here you are uh, returning until l is 1 here also i am running a loop until i greater than or equal to 1 starting loop from n starting from here n n minus 1 minus 1 here i am doing the i minus minus and just doing multiplication here you are doing multiplication i am also doing the multiplication thus one code can be written different different way someone can write code is the while loop someone do while loop any times you can do. let someone write is the while loop while loop you are say 
I am not going to write this way. I am say while if number greater than equal to one, I can write this code. And just here I can say n equal to n minus one. And here you can say multiply by n and you return the fact. So here you can say whatever the number, if greater than number greater than zero, just take one fact variable, multiply by n, then just to n minus one, again multiply by, again multiply by, or you can do. Right, you are getting the same output for all. So this is the different approach to write one code, but you should know there is a different way. Right? So you can someone say Q, why I write this way. This is the different approach. Someone prefer to write recursive, someone prefer to write for loop, someone prefer to write while loop. Finally, our intention was that only intention this multiplication would be do multiple times factory this multiplication i do multiple times this multi factor i'll do multiple times multiple time is same code i want to execute many times i can go with a while loop i can go with a for loop i can go with a recursive call is it now any doubt how to write recursive code. So like example factorial or Fibonacci series or power of two, multiple question answer you can solve using the recursive. So you will try some practice. You know okay, how to write using the for loop. You know how to using while loop. But you should also today know another approach to do execute the same line of statement multiple times using the recursive call concept look like the same nothing different here you are a checking condition returning here you are checking condition and breaking the loop here you are checking condition and breaking the loop and finally all the loop you are doing multiplication 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 the code are the same output to the same but the style of writing code is different only So is it okay for recursive call, a recursive function, recursive method? Yes, sir. Chalo, good. Let you will try to write the some code. Still, you face some problem. Might yes, get us, but I think you please be run on your copy pane and know how recursive function call. One call to another stack, call to another stack where they returns. Whenever you do debug your code, you can find the problem. You must ensure your recursive code must write somewhere the return, break the infinite loop. This is the only precondition. Now, this is mm -hmm. recursive. Recursive, apart from that, nothing is recursive. This is a simple one concept. Let's write some codes and still doubt. We can discuss later, okay? Yes. So, any other topic for the day? Are okay? Hey, that's fine, sir. Okay, then take care. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.